Still desperately trying to get through some mail, so here's another mailbag. First one up is this one here, and uh, it'll be a theme, you'll see, because some of these packages have been here for months. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, well, this is great timing. Uh, so, yeah, this is one of those um, cassette aux adapters. They're not very expensive, $4. Um, this was AliExpress. Uh, basically, yeah, I have a Volvo V70, a 2001, so it is now, what, 21 years old? <clears throat> Something like that. Nearly 22 years old. And it has a cassette deck uh, and a CD player, but I don't even have a working CD drive anymore. So I got this, um, you know, cassette to aux, and the way it works has got a little... Um, sensor there that actually makes makes uh, l like it pretends like it's a it's a tape so it's like a magnetic thing and so yeah these things are super simple very inexpensive but hard to find locally now because of yeah nobody has tape decks in their cars anymore so yeah pretty happy to get this only a couple bucks starting a new job very shortly with a longer commute so I'm gonna be using this Next one up is this one here, three dollars and sixty cents. Uh, I didn't mark what it is. I don't know when it came in. It's been here for a while. Okay, PCB. Oh, here we go. I have to go get the associated part. Aha! So this here is well. This is a SATA plug. This is a SATA data. So that is SATA uh, goes in your computer, and this is uh, SATA power, and these this was bought for a specific reason. Let me go get that. A while ago, a subscriber of mine sent me this. So this is a uh, sort of like a tray. This is the size of a SATA disk. So if you look at this, this is the same connector here and here. Um, however. It has room for two M SATA drives. Um, I was just going to plug this into my computer, but it says here uh, this adapter board only be used with the bundled system. So that must mean that there are some unexpected voltages or something going on in here. And so I figured I needed to get an adapter to see if this SSD is any good. Uh, he said if you open it up, and it works good you can have it if it doesn't work recycle it and if there is a data on it just reformat it so that's what I intend to do I can take you guys along to see if this works um, on the other video on another video but I don't expect this to be much trouble so there we go there's the M SATA and hopefully they didn't solder this on backwards this should fit right in there. There we go, clicks in. And then these two Phillips screws, they go in here. And then I actually won't even uh, open up my computer. I have a external drive adapter, which is over here somewhere. Here we go, so there's this guy here. And then this can slide this way into here. There we go. And now we should have a one terabyte drive. I'll let you guys know if it worked right here. Next one up is this one here, $25.88. Oh yeah. So these are um, special, but at the same time, they're really not. So these are <clears throat> these are Arduino um, Megas. So they have the AT Mega twenty five sixty, but they are an embedded version. Let me give you a size comparison. I really wanted to find an Uno, but uh, I think they're undisposed at the moment. Uh, so here are the two um, Mega, you know, embedded versions, and here's an ESP thirty two. And as you'll notice, it's like nearly the same size. I mean, if your envelope barely fits this, you won't be able to fit this in it. But I mean, look how close it is 
And also, uh, it's got a micro USB, which makes it a lot nicer than these uh, chunky original ones. Um, this is a Pro Mini, and so you can see the Pro Mini is quite a bit smaller, but really it's, I mean, for a Mega, this thing is tiny. And then, of course, the standard Mega with the barrel jack and everything. You can tell there's a big uh, size difference there. So, yeah. Um, these things did not cost me $25. It's one of these weird things where if you spend a certain amount of money, AliExpress gives you uh, fast shipping uh, for your other things. And so all the shipping gets like lumped into one order. So yeah, the, these things, yeah, it says they were $25, but I ordered a whole bunch of stuff and the, splitting got shi the, the shipping got split between all of them. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take it too, too seriously. I wonder if... No, that header doesn't match this one, nor does it match this one, but it, but it might. Let's see. Nah, they're all like uh, all over the place here. So yeah, hats won't work, but um, your embedded projects probably will. Pretty excited for these things. Next ones up are these two. Uh, I say ones because they are related to each other, um, and they're going to be part of the same project, electronics project, but a little bit of crossover. So uh, this guy here is a shifter knob. This is uh, genuine leather. And then there's some threads inside here. This is supposed to be uh, similar to a WRX STI. Wow, these, uh, <laughs> these numbers are way offset. But um, yeah, so this is a shift knob. And this is related to it. And again, uh, $4.16.50, um, no, that's almost $5.16.50, and, and that's not the actual price because the shipping gets all weird. And so this is a leather shift boot. So shift boot, shift knob, these two will go together like this. And what this is for is that I am building a um, USB uh, shifter trying to build something open source uh, so that sim racers can make their own if they would like uh, to control their games. So basically, um, just trying to make a mechanism, uh, probably going to be live streaming it on um, uh, Thursdays, uh, you know, just working out the CAD stuff, going to be some micro switches, probably going to use um, an Atmel AT... 32U4 and yeah the plan is to have a professional looking and feeling uh, shifter assembly but USB and possibly even going to make a version to adapt to go with the Logitech racing wheels. Um, I'm a big fan of sim racing I'm not a big fan of the expense and so although I did buy quite a bit of sim racing gear to get myself started doesn't mean I want everybody to go down the same path so yeah, these are relatively inexpensive and they're from real cars, so it should do the job just fine. Oh, and why I grabbed leather? Because there's a lot of metal ones. Um, well, my basement gets really cold and it gets uncomfortable, so I decided I'll go um, leather so it's not as cold on my hand. And then um, be able to play with that. Looks like there's a Phillips screw at the end here. If I undo this, does the whole thing unravel? Doesn't seem to have done anything. Well, I'm going to try not to break this before I actually uh, get my project done. And the very last item is this one here, $7.05. I know what this is because I can feel it in the package. These are one of these things where uh, it's only really useful to automotive folks. Um, these are fuel line pliers. They're just regular, um, you know, round sort of end pliers, um, but they're twisted up. And what it is is uh, EFI um, electronic fuel injection uh, hoses have these two little things you have to press in, and it's just way easier with one of these. And as you saw, 
wasn't very expensive, you know, seven bucks, and um, seven dollars, I mean, I would pay ten times that to make my day better some days when it's just not going right. So I figured I would order these and see if they're any good, and then do a write-up on my automotive channel if they are or if they aren't. And that's it for today's mailbag. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you to my Patreon patrons uh, for supporting me and allowing me to start cool projects like this. Uh, make sure you check out all the fun in creation of projects like this over on my streaming channel. And if you want to see me actually game with stuff like this, not this yet, but you know, the stuff that this will be replacing, go over on my Twitch channel over there. Thanks everyone for watching.